It's hot like crazy. Southern Crown 2 weekend coming up March 11th and 12th. And my predictions are this card is about to be fire. It is. That's my only prediction. Alright, what up YouTube? It's not like crazy. We're here. I'm here to predict the Southern Crown 2 weekend uh, coming up March 11th and 12th in Atlanta, uh, presented by Bullpen Battle League. I'm here to predict who I think is going to win each battle. This should be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with day two since, I mean, y'all aren't less important, but it's not day one. So, yeah. So first up, we have La Spitta versus D Nice. D Nice is nice, like really nice. Like his pin is crazy. But La Spitta, I feel like he does what I like to hear more, which is punch. He definitely punches a lot more. Like when I seen him, like the first time I ever seen La Spitta was outside Kill Confirmed 3. And he was talking about rapping. I'm just looking at him like, I swear to God, if this dude sucks, I'm about to roast the life out of him. I think he should have won $1,000, but you know, who am I? Yeah, who knows? So, anyway. So, D-Nice, back, back to the, the matter at hand. D-Nice versus La Spitta. I feel like La Spitta is going to win that 2-1. D-Nice can rebuttal every round in the beginning, the middle, or the end of the round. I've seen it happen. So, I think that would be enough to get him at least one round. But if I had to put money on a battle, I'm going to go ahead and put on La Spitta. Uh, 2-1. The next battle we have Kassam versus uh, Swavitar Jack. Now, Swavitar Jack has battled a whole bunch of times since this year started. So, I'm not sure. But I feel like Kassam, Kassam has showed up his last three battles from bullpen, so I heard. Because I didn't see him in Young Logic, but I did see him versus Mike Millie and him versus Doby. Fire. So, if I had to put money on this battle, I'm going to go ahead and say Kassan 2-1. Uh, Suavitar Jack is nice, though. Like, he can punch. His stage presence is crazy. His performance is crazy. I, I feel like Suavitar Jack probably should have battled like Polo. That would have been a better, but like, I feel like that would have been a better matchup. But he's battling Kassan, and I feel like Kassan's going to win. So, prove me wrong. I'll admit it later. Okay, for the next battle, we have Polo versus Killer. Now, Polo, I heard some things about your last battle that I wasn't too happy to hear. And I haven't fact-checked yet, but if I fact-check and they are correct, boy, I'm about to roast the living lights out of you, my man. But let's just hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, so Killer versus Polo, I feel like Killer is going to win this 3-0. Like, not no debating because anything happened with Polo and his performance. He could have one crazy room rocker and then that could win him around. So, I, but I'm going to say Killer 3 If I had to put money on it, I'm putting it. Like, I feel like Killer is definitely going to win the battle. But I feel like he's going to win 3-0 versus Polo. Um, I just don't think the performance is enough. Like, because Killer can perform. Killer projects. Killer's cadence is crazy. Um, so, yeah. I feel like Killer... He's going to win this 3-0. Sue me. The next battle we have is B. Eric versus CT. Now, CT has been uh, victimized only in the fashion that they always put CT, they always match him up with the person who is on fire that night. Automatic Ray was on fire. Suave was on fire. C-Money it was lighting up like that wasn't his most fire but so this did okay this battle between b eric and cc i feel like whoever wins this should get a permanent like spot like on i guess the bullpen roster like whoever wins this battle should be an official bull because i guess there's only like five of them or six or something like that but i feel like they proved themselves enough like so the winner of this battle should be that but if i had to predict who was gonna win i feel like b eric uh used the blow angle versus cannon had he used it versus ct or had he not used it before i probably would say b eric um two one but since he can't i mean he can use that angle but it has to be more fire than it was the last time which 
it was pretty fire when he used it against Cannon. So I couldn't see how he could, if he could, hey, listen, if you could do it, do it. But I feel like CT is going to win 2-1 because CT had, CT's rounds versus Suave were fire. It's just Suave sucked the momentum out the room for CT's rounds. Like, I think CT went first and Suave just like took all the air out the room and said, yeah, this is my house. We from Texas, that I guess. So, so. But yeah, anyway. I got CT21 over B. Eric. Um, prove me wrong. I'll admit it later. These are just predictions. Can't tell the future. The next battle we have Boogie versus Automatic Ray. Both of their last battles that I've seen, both of them were the best that I think I've ever seen them. Boogie versus TGO was probably the best Boogie I've ever seen, which I've only seen a couple Boogie battles. And Ray, that was clearly like that was Ray versus CT was clearly the best Automatic Ray ever. He's never been that well-rounded in a battle and punched like that. Like, this man said, uh, you wrapped yourself in a box, something like Hotline. That was, bro, when he said that, me and your girl play Barbie. She, uh, she the Barbie, I'm, I'm the box that she coming. Like, bro, come on now. That, it was fire. So this battle, I feel like off the strength that automatic raise punches are heavier, and automatic ray can freestyle and rebuttal fire rebuttals i feel like automatic ray is gonna win this 2-1 boogie might have like he might get around like boogie definitely should get around but i feel like automatic ray is gonna win 2-1 so yeah i guess the headliner for that night is suave versus g-lo now g-lo has not lost any rounds on bullpen but that's all about to change like I think G Lo is nice and G Lo is getting a lot better every battle. But I, I just don't see him getting around versus Suave. The Suave that battle CT, if he listen, no. Like, no. Like I could sit here and say Chef Life, G Lo gonna win, G Lo at least gonna get around, but then I would be lying because the way it's playing in my head, that isn't true. Like, I'm just seeing G-Lo having fire. I think if Suave 3 0s G-Lo, he's not about to just destroy him. Like, one or two of the rounds are going to be slight edges and one clear win, or two clear rounds and one edge. I don't think he's just about to, he's not going to body G-Lo, but I do think he's going to win all three rounds. So, I mean, I can't lie. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, so on to the day two, the, the day one card. I'm tripping. So on to the day one card. We got Beretta Blaze versus Cashflow Rizzy. Now, I don't know if Cashflow Rizzy didn't take Godbody seriously, but it wasn't what I expected, I guess, you know? Maybe she just wasn't motivated. I can't blame her for not being motivated, trust me. But Beretta, last time I seen her battle was against Springs. That was like two years ago or something like that. If she still raps like that, I'm going to put Beretta Blaze 2-1. I haven't seen no battle since then, so maybe she got worse. Maybe she got better. If she got better, I'm going to still say her 2-1. So, But if I had to put money on a battle, I'm going to say Beretta. Beretta 2-1. Just gotta be honest. Next battle, we have Clone versus Blick the Barbarian. Now, as bad as I wanna be like, hey, Blick's gonna win 3 0, because Blick is probably one of my favorite battle rappers uh, to like listen to. Um, I can't do that, because uh, Clone is pretty nice. Clone, Mr. Jump uh, to, to top tier from the Proving Grounds, or to jump, in, jump into the bullpen from the kills confirmed, I guess, would be the proper terminology for this league. But yeah, so I do think Blick is gonna win. I don't think it's gonna be 3-0 though. He might 2-1 him. It's gonna be a 2-1 edge, I feel like. Like, I feel like Blick's gonna clearly win around, Clone may clearly win around, and then the other one's debatable. And since the other one's debatable, who do I think would win it? Would be Blick, because Blick's been doing this for a while. And Blick talks a lot, and he usually like 99.99. And some more nines like backs it up so i'm gonna go with blick 2-1 versus gone the next battle we have is c money versus d flames now i feel like this is about to be c money's easiest battle but 
Let me tell you why. I feel like C Money and D Flames is a mirror match. Like they're good at the same things, but C Money is just better at them. They both their punches or their the way they punch is about the same, but C Money's better at it. Crowd control, they both control the crowd. They get the crowd hype, but C Money's better at it. And um vocal projection and cadence they both are good at it but i feel like c money's better at it so everything that d flames does good i feel like c money does it better that's why this is going to be his easiest battle because you take somebody like when he battles ct ct clearly has a better pin than c money barry bands clearly has a better pin than c money um so they had a leverage on him basically but this round there's nothing that c money can do that d flames can't do and vice versa but i feel like c money is better at it so i'm gonna say c money 3-0 over d flames i just don't see him like he talks too much so i just don't see him like like i said about blick hey listen some people talk a lot and don't back it up but he just doesn't seem like one of those people so call it c money 3-0 the next battle we have Street Hymns versus Bricks. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out the way and say Street Hymns. I don't know why everybody be trying to act like they ain't have Nintendo 64s and PlayStation 1s and all of that stuff when they was little. They gonna catch they catch the bars, they just don't wanna react to it. They don't wanna lose their real nigga card. But so with that being said, I feel like Bricks is on like a decline. Like I watched him versus XL. I wasn't I didn't I didn't like the battle. I mean okay, I didn't like his performance in the battle. And then I watched, I was there for him and Riggs, and I think Riggs 3-0'd him. So, Street Hymns is nice. Like, Street Hymns' pin is ridiculous. Like, if you listen to what he says, it's ridiculous. Because Street Hymns is the only person to beat Riggs in the pool pin. Yeah, I said it. But, um, yeah, so, I call it Street Hymns 2-1 over Bricks. I feel like Bricks can get around. Uh... Because Street Hymns usually has two really amazing rounds and one that's not as amazing as the others. So, I feel like if Bricks can get that round that's not amazing as the others, then it'll be 2-1. If not, uh, Street Hymns would get a 3-0. But if I had to bet money and, uh, you know, they had the point spread, I'm going to go Streets 2-1. So, yeah. And then we have Battle that everybody's been waiting for. Bad News versus... Loso. So um yeah. If you would have asked me before the last event who did I think was gonna win, I would have told you Loso. Loso is gonna win 3-0. That's what I would have told you. But I was walking down the street, right? And I heard bad news rapping. So I walked over and I listened. Bad idea. Because let me tell you why. Whatever round that bad news was rapping. Loso is going to lose that round by a long shot. Yeah. So basically, like, if news rap, if that was news in second round and Loso does imaginary gun bars in the second round, Loso is going to lose that round. And that's usually Loso's guaranteed round. So if you take away Loso's guaranteed round, and then if bad news is other rounds or anything like that, it's going to be, I wish I could unhear what I heard. Cause then I could properly give you my prediction but now I've heard bad news rap and I have to give you my prediction with that taken into account that I heard what he said like I can't dis disregard that you can't unring the bell in my head so it's like if Loso was here right like Loso's overall was a 92 I feel like bad news is overall was an 89 but if Loso stays at a 92 what I heard from Bad News was like a 94. So unless your boy Loso bridges that gap. Because you can tell, like what I heard, you can tell Bad News is motivated to really kill him. Like really kill Loso. I didn't, I wanted like, I would have told you Loso was going to win 3 out. I said that. But it's, that, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Unless Loso takes this battle as serious as Bad News does, it might, bro, 3-0 Bad News. So yeah, y'all, uh, y'all like, comment, subscribe. If y'all got any merchandise, uh, 
stuff. Like, I think I got some shirt from C Money. Um, got Adobe to do my graphics. If y'all got anything to do, trying to make it in this YouTube world, y'all let me know. But y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video in some battle rap groups. If you don't like my my prediction, you can. I hope you lose. Just because it's a prediction, you can't really be mad at it. So yeah, see y'all. Southern Crown 2 weekend, March 11th and 12th, downtown. We out of here.